So I'm here like setting up like a B-roll shot of like walking with the big monument, the Devil's Tower monument in the background. And I look up and what do I see? There's people climbing way up there. That's a capital nope from the two of us. What a wonderful world. Well, you've probably heard it before. That um it's not good to take these trips and drive after dark because you never know what you're gonna miss and uh, our story is that last year when we did this cross-country trip we did evidently drive after dark and I looked up the, the next day where we drove and it was a road called the Cloud Peak Skyway in uh, I believe it's the Big Horn Mountain National Forest here in Wyoming um, but the stars have aligned and um, we get the opportunity to drive it again, but obviously in daytime. So it's already pretty GD beautiful, but while we're out here, I'll put the good old GoPro, get some 4K footage as we go. So let's go. Wow, it's cold. Dude, what kind of weather was that? Dude, we were going from sunny to hail and rain, and now back to sunny. Stopped at this overlook because it looks super pretty, but I want you to take a look. Check it out. Ooh, wow. Ah. Uh. Hi. Wyoming is beautiful, but I want to see an elk or a moose, please. God, it's cold. It was 102 yesterday where we were. Now it's 50. Yo, these views are seriously breathtaking. Oh man, have I mentioned that I love Wyoming? <laughs> Look at this. This is why. <laughs> Freaking beautiful. crazy because this is what we drove in the dark through last year and was our biggest regret and now I know why <laughs> good lord uh. well definitely glad that we gave it another try
now that I'm like all readjusted, <laughs> I had to take my hat off. Dude, I had to take the GoPro off the car because the wind is seriously like a hurricane. Like I literally couldn't open my door. I had to put brute force into it. You can see, maybe. There's white caps and everything on whatever this water is. It's not as windy up here. We crossed the dam and I swear to God, <laughs> the wind was like 70 miles an hour. Crazy. <laughs> it was hot. I, according to a sign for somewhere we just stopped, we were going through Wind River Canyon. It's still super windy. The Jeep is even getting pushed. 